Right, what is going on YouTube? Now today's video, we are giving you a tutorial video. So I'm gonna try and coach you through the toaster bar. I'm gonna give you what I would do in a toaster bar workshop, how I would sort of set up for it, things that I think you need to have in your locker before you maybe try to fully attempt that and break it down and giving you some scaled options. So hopefully in the future, if you watch this video, you can get toaster bar. First of all, before we get started, if you like this video and it has helped you, please like this video, subscribe to the channel, and we will be bringing a lot more of these. And apart from that, let's get started with the video. So, first thing, when I started transitioning over from what I would call bodybuilding-ish style training, a bro split, didn't have the best shoulder mobility. This is your best friend. Toes the bar takes a lot of capacity in your shoulders to be able to get, if you imagine this is the rig, you wanna be able to get a position where you can go back. Now the best way to do this is to use this PVC pipe and start with warming up with about three sets of 20 shoulder dislocations. Shoulder dislocations, I struggle to say that. Um, nice straight arms, easier if you go wider, harder the narrower you get. So you wanna be able to go all the way back with nice straight arms, opening the shoulders, which is gonna help warm your shoulders up before you put a hell of a lot of force through your shoulders for anything like a butterfly pull up, a toaster bar, which we're doing today, obviously, a kip and pull up, a muscle, pull, muscle up, anything on the rig is gonna put a lot of shoulder pressure, a lot of force through your shoulders. So I always, no matter who it is, try and get them to do some sort of shoulder dislocations to get them shoulders opened up. So start a few three sets of 20. Right, second thing, on the floor. If you think you're too good for the floor, you're not, okay? Everything happens from the floor. We are gonna do a hollow hold, and I'm gonna show you a hollow hold with a PVC pipe. You don't need to do this, so we'll do a hollow hold first, okay? Now the important part about this is making sure you have a flat back. If you see that natural arch, can you see that in there? In the sort of screen there? Yep. So if you see that there, this is what you need to eliminate to make sure your abs and core is engaged. So I want you from this position to start here, to force that lower back down, okay? Start in a dead bug position. Toes nice and straight, channel the inner gym mass, and hands up as if you were in the toes to bar position. Now before you start, I want you to have the capacity to do two sets of 30 seconds like that. And if you do have a PVC pipe, try and mimic your hand position there as if you were on the rig. So you can go nice and straight, 30 seconds that way. The second thing you're gonna do, which I think is massively underrated, because you're going to have to be in this position in the toaster bar, is the arch hold. So very similar, okay? Lie flat on the floor, hands above your head. Once you feel comfortable and you've got the crown jewels not squashed against the floor, because I'm not, okay? You're gonna get your hands up. You're gonna be in this arch position. What this is trying to do is, it's trying to warm up and fire up your lower back because at some point during the toaster bar, you're gonna to have to be in the opposite of the hollow hold, okay, where you are arched the other way. And it can be, that is when you need the shoulder mobility as well. So part two, get to the floor, two to three sets, 30 seconds hollow hold, 30 seconds arch hold. Right, I should probably show you this. So this is a little bit of a hack. Now, I definitely didn't have these when I first learned toaster bar. But when you start doing sets of 15 to 20, your hands are gonna knack. So if you do feel like you don't mind spending 50, 55 pound from Victory Grips, I'm not sponsored by them, but they're fucking amazing and I've tried all the brands. These are the best ones going. So you've got your grips on. That is gonna come over your thumb sort of position. Is that a thumb? What is it? It's like the base of your palm of your hand. And it's gonna tuck in there. You can go fingers in or you can just leave it on top. So if you're doing a workout, say it was toes to bar and deadlift, so you go toes to bar like that, and then you came, you come off and you go straight into the deadlift, okay? So anyway, we're back to the bar, we're back to the drills and skills. Now, the next thing that I want you to do to get yourself warmed up and to make sure that you have the strength is scapular pulls, okay? This is not a kip yet, it is a scapula pull. So I'm gonna do it forward facing you, I'm gonna do three reps, and then I'm gonna do three reps at the back so you can see my scapula working. Okay, get on that ball in the position you're doing towards the ball, okay? From here, got a nice dead hand position, okay? All we're doing from there is using our scapula to relax, pull up, relax, pull up, relax, pull up. And what I want you to focus on is that hollow position 
that we had at the start. So if Joe comes and scoots around the side here, I'm going to show you there now. Okay, so I want you to see and notice how if you are in line with this rig here, my head is back, my feet are forward. So I'm in that hollow position that we did on the floor, yeah? But I'm in line with this rig here. Now, from the back, watch my scapula so you can see this. Okay, this these, are, these little muscles here are your safety net for your shoulders, okay, for not hurting yourself. So from here, building, scapula, strength. Three sets of five, that's gonna warm you up. That is gonna get them firing before we start getting a little bit more aggressive with the kips. Kip swing. We are gonna initiate the kip swing very small to start with, okay? I want you to think everyone's had a subway before, okay? Foot long subway. I don't want you to exaggerate this more than a subway in between that rig, okay? So if you think there, that's in line right here, right? So now watch this. I'm gonna hang on the bar, okay? Now, the most important thing, is, the most important thing, the most important thing here is the rhythm between going from that hollow body position, okay, toes forward, head back, scapula retracted, two, feet back, head forward, in that arch position. Then back through, then back forward. Now, watch it in full motion, in full speed, with a little bit of momentum. Okay, you're gonna do three sets of five. Okay, in this position, let yourself hang, initiate the kick, heads back, heads forward, heads back, heads forward. Think about the subway again. So only a foot, six inches between the bar, six inches in foot. You want to get confident at doing that and just getting that perfect distance first. Do not try to twist the bar straight away. You need to be able to, at three sets of five, you should be able to do three sets of ten of those. In one go, get used to the grip on the bar, get used to the head is behind the bar, feet is in forward, so that way, to the opposite direction. Head is in front of the bar, and feet are behind. With maintaining that hollow body position, channel your inner gymnast, nice straight toes all the time. Try and keep your feet together, get some good habits. Right, this isn't quite different. All we're doing is, once you're comfortable with that, you've done the six inches, you're gonna make it more aggressive. So, all the way through, all the way back. All the way through, all the way back. Get a little bit more momentum. Okay, so now we've done the little six inches either side, get a little bit more aggressive. Get right through to that hollow hole, right through to that arch hold. And start getting a little bit more momentum. That is your next one. Right, now we are gonna do not quite the toes the bar, we're gonna do the kipping knee tuck. So you've done your kips, you're getting good at kips, you're getting good at that position where you need to be at. Now, we're gonna do that, and every time you come back through and your feet go forward and your head's back, when you're in that hollow body position, you're gonna go pop and bring your knees up. Every time you hit that position, pop and bring your knees back. So, watch this here. You can start, and I would always say when I was starting off as well, start with that hollow rock position and get in that good kip swing, okay? So, if that sounds like gibberish, this is what it is. Bam, get in a good hollow position. Okay, initiate your kip. One, two, three, and add it in. Add it in. Add it in. So, soon as I'm at that position there, I'm just going to pop and get in. Pop and get in. But I'm still getting my head through and going back to the arch. Getting my head through and going back to the arch. That is your next progression for getting used to kipping knee tucks. Your next progression, right, is gonna be, we're gonna try and get knees to elbows. So you're really starting to get close to doing toes to bar now, okay? So exactly similar to your kipping knee tuck, we're gonna progress it and we're gonna get a little bit more aggressive. Okay, so you need to get that kip swing going first. You need to be, use momentum to your advantage, get a little bit more aggressive, on the ball, get that kip swing, knees to elbows, knees to elbows. Knees to elbows, but notice how I'm going back in to that hollow and arch position. And when I hit the hollow, I'm up. Four, up. So that is your next progression. 
three times five, knees to elbows. Again, hang on the bar, get your hollow up hold, get that momentum where you're going behind and when you go head back, head forward, head back, head forward with your feet, get that good position. And then when you hit that perfect spot where you feel weightless for a split second, get the knees all the way up to elbows. Right, you are ready to try the toaster bar, okay? But I'm gonna give you one little hack that I think that everyone gets first, nigh on everyone I see, gets this before they get full toaster bars strung together. So just focus on getting one rep. Once you get one, you can add on. We're gonna do the two, one, two progression, okay? This is the same progression that I've done with people in pull-ups. What the two means is two kip swings. The one is your toaster bar, and then you go back two kip swings again. And what this does is you continue this rhythm so you are allowing yourself to get one toaster bar and then compose yourself with another two kip swings before again going to another two kip swings, okay? So, you'll understand what it means now. So you get ready, you get on the bar, okay? So, two, one, two. So, two kip swings initially. One, two, two is the bar. Back to one, two, two is the bar. One, two, Twist the bar, and that is your routine. That's what you should be doing. What the biggest problem with people trying, and once they get to that point of being able to get a twister bar, is the momentum of their body swinging in the wrong direction, and basically losing control, okay? Losing core stability while doing it. So what you want to do is get yourself two good kip swings, then have a really aggressive go at getting your feet up, then go back to two, and then string another one. And you just keep doing that rhythm in workouts, in maybe, I would say, do that drill, so you get five perfect toes to bar, and obviously every time in between you get two kip swings. And eventually that will get better, where you can start eliminating your toes to, uh, your kip swings, so it's just toes to bar strung together. So last part is actually just getting toes to bar sets like rattled off, okay, so you want to get to a point where I'd probably start like three to five reps, which would be perfect. Now, I would say one of the most important things when you start doing toast of all is making sure that you throw your head through this way so you have the natural momentum come back up, okay? So what people seem to not do is when they're here, okay, get that hold up position, throw your head through, yeah? So when you hit the ball, throw your head back through. Hit the ball, throw your head back through, yeah? Because if you don't pull your head back through, you lose the momentum, you lose the natural swing to be able to get back to the bar, okay? So that is a lot of information to take in. There is a lot of drills there. That is kind of like a toast bar workshop, which I would do with people who want to learn and focus on that. And I'm going to show you one extra little drill that can try and help you, try and help aid with this, uh, with learning toast bar, with a band, putting it on a rig, and then you're pretty much ready to give this a go. So, when you're doing toaster bar, when people are doing toaster bar and sculpt, imagine you've got someone standing on the bar here. Now, as a coach, I'm walking up and down the room. What I tend to do is, when they're hanging on the bar here, if they aren't quite understanding what I mean about the positions of being through here, I will have my hand on their back, right, here, and I will push them through so their body's there, while the hands are still on the bar, and then let them go so they come back and push them through. And that will help them understand that natural kip in motion of what they need. How do you do this when you're by yourself? Okay? Because I was by myself, like right now, a hell of a lot of time. So, first thing you're gonna do is need a band on here. And this is gonna, it's gonna catapult you in the right position. That's the best way to explain it, okay? So it's a little bit of assistance. Hopefully I'll put this at the right height. We'll find out in a set. Okay, now from here, okay, you're gonna get yourself hanging on the bar, okay. That band is essentially kicking my feet and giving me a little bit more of a kick up. 
to the right position, okay? It was very hard to explain while I was on the bar there, okay? What I would say is that was probably a little bit too low, so maybe... And we're back, okay? And that was just a bit too noisy for the camera. I didn't want to kill your rears off, okay? Just kill your arms off and close the bar. So that position there, back of the thigh, is great for forcing me. So when I'm up here, this is catapulting my legs back up into a good position. Okay, so we'll go that. Up, hit that bar, hit that bar, and it comes back. What that's doing is, it's not giving you much torque, but it's just making you spring back, okay? It's just making you spring back. And it kind of gives you a bit of understanding of how to get yourself back up. Now, that is pretty much the toast of our tutorial. So, first of all, it took bloody ages and I absolutely love it. So smash the like button, give us some love, show us some support, comment below what you want to see next. Um, people have said about butterfly pull-ups, people have said about kipping pull-ups, because the basics matter. I've got a kipping pull-up video, that's a lie. Kipping pull-ups is further down, scroll down and find it. Bar muscle-ups was the other one. So, maybe we'll keep doing these if you enjoy the video. I hope you did. Um, um, apart from that, you know, have a great weekend. Um, apart from that, don't really know what to say. Um, get massive, get shredded, it's nearly summer. Um, get on the assault bike, do GHD sit-ups, and love, live, laugh, life podcast, you know, it's always there. Apart from that, have a great day. Over